right, everyone, welcome back to Second in Setsu 3. I am your navigator and your host, Sakura the Silver Wolf. One thing you're going to notice between my previous video and this video is that I have less HP. The reason for this is because when I had originally recorded this video, um, I went to view it, and it was very epileptic, as if the recording wasn't done properly. I think it was my computer, could have been this program, but we're going to see how it goes this time around. But anyways, the reason I am uh, one point of HP shy than I was last video is because I had to completely run back through the very few, uh, the very first part of the game because I could not find my save for this. I could not find my save for this particular area, so I had to run back through, completely restart and run back through. That's why I have less HP in this video. But anyways, with this, we're just gonna basically be fighting our way out of Jad and getting to the boat. But when we leave here, we won't be coming back for a while. There's nothing you can do here. You can't get any items. Everybody's in full retreat. Because like, the beastmen have taken over, launched their invasion, what have you. But you just come to the harbor, you get on the boat. It's relatively easy, relatively short little area. Just gotta fight the uh, beastmen on the way through it. You don't have to fight every one of them if you don't want to. Anyways, now we're going to learn about Angela's backstory. Why she is on the quest. Say that Angela has already went and spoke with the Priest of Light, and that she was looking for us. Convenient, yes? And now we learn why she is troubled. And, quite frankly, she has a right to be. Because she is... As you're fixing to find out. She's the Princess of Altena. Altena, the Magic Kingdom. However, she can't use magic. Quite hard to be part of the royal Altenian royal family when you cannot use magic. So, here I am. Yep, here you are, Angela. City Maya. You can't get new weapons and armors here. Well, if you haven't bought any weapons for your character, your two partners already have their best equipment 
that they can get at this point in the game, weapon and armor wise. However, you can get, if you have got your best equipment too, then all you gotta do is just go to the armor shop and he'll sell you your first accessory. Or rather, uh, your helmet, your first helmet. This is the Alchemist Bon Voyage's house. He looked, he's built something really well. Just look out the back door. You go in and you talk to Bon Voyage and his sister Bonsoir. <laughs> he's like, I don't know who you are, but you came at the right time. <laughs> and like I said, Bonsoir has a very interesting opinion of her brother. It's not that she hates his work, but she just thinks that the... The title they call him is incorrect. Between Maya and Forsinia, there is only one bridge and no other routes around it. But, with my Super Cannon Mark II, keep that in mind. You talk to this guy. Who was apparently on the same ship as you guys, as your team. Right. Seems like the priest's life is in danger. Oh, that's not good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and equip this armor here. your choice on whether you want to be woke up at morning or night. If you're looking for more challenging enemies, I would recommend waking up at night, because you can kind of level up easier, but you don't have to.
left of Earth. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because in the next one we're gonna have a boss fight. And we're gonna make our way back to Maya. But you'll see why too. But I'll catch you guys next time.